Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you some shaders that you should be able to run on pretty much anything you would like as long as it can turn on and actually play Minecraft. So if you're still playing Minecraft on something that looks like this, you just might have a chance to run some of these shaders. So anyways, let's go ahead and check them out. Now this first shader I'm actually going to be showing you guys is still fairly resource intensive. However, I decided to include it in this list just because how amazing it looks for the performance you get. And as you can see, I'm still sitting around 90 FPS, but keep in mind I'm playing at 1440p, which is a lot higher than the usual 1080. And the fact that it can actually pull off this performance and still look this good is pretty amazing, so I decided it should probably be on this list anyway. The next shader up is the Silder's Vibrant Shaders Medium version, and this one is still fairly resource intensive, although a bit lighter than the previous one. And this one also looks pretty good for what it gives you. But if you're still looking for something even easier to run, go ahead and keep watching because as this list goes on, each shader will give you higher and higher FPS. Next up is Chalk Pick 13's Better Default. And this is the first shader on this list that truly gives you some very high FPS. And as you can see, it pretty much looks like vanilla Minecraft, except as you can see, there are shadows and moving plants and stuff like that. And overall, it has a pretty simple look to it, which is part of the reason why it gives you such a high FPS. The next shader is the Silders Enhanced Default, and this is similar to the Chalk Pick one, except it actually looks, in my opinion, even closer to default, except with, obviously, shadows and moving plants. And it really comes down to preference, which one you like between this one and Chalk Picks. In my opinion, I like the Silders more, but they give you pretty similar performance, so in the end of the day, it's up to you. Up next is the Chalk Pick 13's Toaster Edition, and as you can tell by the name, this one is definitely made for performance, and it actually still looks pretty decent, nothing compared to like the first one for example but that's not really what you're after if you're watching this video you're looking for some very high fps which this shader definitely provides with some pretty good visuals up next is a very basic shader and this one doesn't actually add any shadows to your game but as you can see there are still moving plants and the lighting has been changed quite a bit and this is actually the shader i used in my recreating hightail series and it still looks really good plus you get an incredibly high fps with it Alright, the last shader I have for you guys is the Waving Plants shader, and this is definitely the most basic one on the list, although that's not necessarily a bad thing, because it makes it so obviously all the plants in your game will move, and this is a really nice effect that most shaders have, and kind of actually probably why most people install shaders, so if you can't run any of the others, definitely install this one. I actually used this back in the day when I did not have a good computer, and it pretty much doesn't even hurt your FPS at all, so you should be able to use it. Alright, that's the end of this video, and if you still couldn't run any of these shaders, I do apologize, but it's probably time for an upgrade because you should be able to run at least the last few of them, but really that's up to you. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.